Stormy Ascent. Stormy Ascent. That's Crash Bandicoot, right? Remake of the artist level from Crash Bandicoot with a taste of SMB 1.9. Uh, 71 uh, clears, 2.42% clear rate. Just cook. F uh, 4 minutes is a world record older with 4 minutes and 31 seconds. Let's go. I yeah, just too late, Box, to play uh, a, a troll level, dude. I'm sorry about that. All right, so I have completed Stormy Ascent from Crash Bandicoot. So I know what's going... Oh yeah, that's cool. That's actually cool. That's actually cool. Nice. I dig this, dude. That's uh, a perfect replica of the stairs in uh, Stormy Ascent. Oh my god. Dude. Give me some checkpoints too. Oh my god, the mushroom, dude. <laughs> I'm messing up already. That is so cool. This one's gonna be highlighted for sure. That is such a cool level. And it's a pretty good replica of uh, Crash Bandicoot to you. Saved it. That's like when you hit three mask in Crash Bandicoot, right? Give me that. You're like invincible? Oh my god, I'm I'm bad right now too. Cool. Red pipe. Going back to the main world. Give me that. So yeah. Uh, Stormy Sand is probably the hardest stage in uh, Crash Bandicoot, for uh, people that don't know. Um, it wasn't included in the original game, because the developer judged that uh, the level was actually too hard. But when they re-released the Insane Trilogy, they decided to include it in the DLC. And this level is hard, and the original one didn't add checkpoints to you. Um, the DLC one add checkpoints. So um, it's even harder, it was even harder in the original one. Where's my checkpoint though? Is there any checkpoints? There you go. First shot. Cool. Cool. Ooh. Okay. There was a skip too in the uh, in the original stage. Not sure if it's included in this one too. Uh, you could uh, fall down um, a platform and skip a good 30 uh, seconds of the level. I guess it's that, right? Oh, that's a spike. That, my friends, is a spike. Pretty chill section. Not another checkpoint, right? Not another checkpoint. Talk, talk, talk. Oh my god. Checkpoint? That's a good placement for a checkpoint, right? Checkpoint! <laughs> That's such a cool level. I'm really enjoying this, actually. And, um... Since I know the layout of the levels... 
of the Stormy Ascent level in Crash Bandicoot. Ah, uh, that's really well done, actually. And that's a cool way to make the falling platforms, too. Okay. Progressive power up. Let's go. a little spring there. What's happening with the spring? Should be able to finish it, right? With the flower too? I I have too much uh, power ups. Too much power up. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> that was so dumb, dude. Ah, uh, that was so dumb. Ah, uh, no progressive power-up on this one. It's gonna be a little bit harder, right? Oh, I'm never gonna beat this level, man. It's over. What is the point of the start? Huh? Oh, that's the platforms. That's the freaking platforms. Cool, cool. GG! So what is this door? What is that? Is that a bandicoot? What is that? Oh yeah, that's Crash Bandicoot with his little blue pants. Not the best, not the best pixel art, I must say. But pretty cool level. I like it. All right, so uh, once again, that's that's the type. That's why I love to play viewer levels. Um, to play hidden gems like this that not a lot of people have played, but the ID behind the level and the execution is on point. I'm really enjoying it and uh, great job dude, really really great level.